Hi, I'm JB Atkins. I'm Rebecca. And we're Dual Dragons. Welcome to another Maintenance Monday episode. Yes. Today, we'll be focusing on the chest stretch along with the heart breathing chakra exercise. Yes, perfect. So for our heart chakra, you want to envision this beautiful emerald green color. So in the... Whether you want to wear a shirt that color or have a, a picture that kind of... Or visualize it. Visualize it or say if you have plants. If you have a plant that's as dark green as this, any and all of those are possibilities to kind of help you or a nice little uh, token, a token in the form a of a crystal to kind of help you focus on that visualization with a physical uh, attribute that you, token that you can use to kind of simple, as I just said, focus. Yes. What was the other one? Focus? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that. It's a wonderful acronym. We love using, uh, using it. Memorizing a whole other question. But what I wanted to say is make sure to look at our other videos the one with the breathing technique, the one with the neck stretches, the one with the shoulders. shoulders. Do those first and then follow up with this one video now because now we're going to focus on the chest. And when you tie all of those, including the chakra breathing, it really helps to elevate this part of the body. It's your higher chakras. So putting them all together, it's really nice. Definitely. So let's get started. Okay. So what we're going to do is get started with the breathing review, just to make sure that, to remind you to breathe through your tummy. So you want to expand the tummy and exhale. You want the tummy to go back in. Inhale. You're going to hold for 10 seconds for the second inhale. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to exhale slowly. And then on the third inhale, until the exhale is when you release whatever stretch we have you in. Okay. Again, a simple reminder, the purpose of that, we recognize when we do this specific breathing technique with any stretches, our, um, whichever part of the body, it helps minimize that muscle that we may have worked on or guided you through to minimize spasm or respasming again. Mm -hmm. It allows your body, mind to uh, reconnect and focus on your heart, to focus on the breathing, to follow the, the pump, the flow, the oxygen traveling through your blood to those tension parts of your body. It's just a simple visualization to connect mind, body, your higher self. And basically, it just helps release, release the muscle, release anything, any blockage that might be there. Okay, so we're going to start with the chest and with the chest, we're going to be using the ledge of either your doorway, closet door, whatever ledge you may have to be able to do these stretches. Of course, you don't want, you don't want to the door. Oh, you don't want to be. You want the wood frame of the door on your forearm. You want complete support. It may be a little bit of uh, beyond the elbow. You don't want to stick it out like that. Yeah. Don't cause some. Uh, you don't elevation. want to stick it too further in. You want that support. You want to use that edge of the doorway as a support. So match them up. So. All right, let's get started. First position is going to be 90 degrees, aligning mm -hmm. your collarbone with your uh, elbow. Elbow. <laughs> Part of life. Humorous. Yes. Okay, so forearm is there. You're going to be standing straight. You're looking straight ahead. That is his right arm. So he's going to step first with his right foot out. And then he's going to rotate his trunk towards the left. Left side. Yeah, left. Towards the left. Okay. And that's going to give you a nice good stretch here. So you're going to want to take a nice inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, you're going to hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, exhale. Inhale one more time. And on the exhale, you're gonna rotate back and then step back. And yeah, when you step forward and you feel like you're a little slipping, just reset yourself mm -hmm. to avoid any injuries, or further injuries if you do have some, and secure your proper support. Okay, and now the next pose, same, same arm, but now this time we're gonna move the elbow up to your ear level. So it's not gonna be 90 degrees, it's not gonna be 45. 45, yes. Okay, again, your right arm, you're gonna step forward with the right foot and rotate to the left. Nice little stretch now on this the pec liner. And then and chill forward like you're throwing a baseball. Exactly. You're gonna kind of tilt a little forward. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Inhale. And on the exhale, you're gonna position yourself back, rotate back, step back. Okay. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other arm. Okay. So 90, 90 degrees first, a nice right angle. This time he's using his left arm. He's going to step forward with his left foot and rotate. And again, inhale, exhale. Next inhale, he's going to hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, inhale. And on the exhale, you're going to rotate back in position and step back. And again, same arm left, and now we're going to go up. So first, first one was 90 degrees. Second one, raise up to ear level elbow. And again, and you're going to step forward with your left foot, rotate, and then you're going to lean a little bit more. And again, inhale. Exhale, inhale and hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, inhale, and on the exhale, you're gonna stand back up, rotate back in position and step back. Okay, so now for our last position, we are going to turn around so you can see. You're going to bring your arms, your arms back and your hands, you're going to collapse them together and you're going to roll your shoulders back for a nice opening of the chest. Go ahead and turn around sideways so they can see it sideways, how it's done. So it's gonna open the chest up again. Well, uh, similar with the shoulder? Yeah, similar to the shoulder stretch. All right, for those like myself, I've been doing a lot of upper arm workout or just can't really have the flexibility to grab. Same concept, we're just shrugging the shoulder, bringing it back, pulling down. down. So Attention. very open. To Relax open. the chest muscle. The purpose mm -hmm. is to stretch it. You can tighten the back muscle. Again, and your belly breathing. Okay, so what do you want to box? Oh, okay. Go for it. No, what can you so they can see the breathing? Sorry. Okay, go Get ahead. In position. Get in position. So it's kind of like the military chest. And if you could get your hands back together, that's perfect. Just to give more of an opening. And take an inhale. Exhale, inhale and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, inhale, 
and on the exhale you go back to neutral. Okay. Now, ready for that chakra breathing? Yes. Now, next is our chakra breathing. So, right at the heart chakra, um, right at this left. So you're you want to gear more to the left. You have your beautiful emerald color chakra turning clockwise. Okay, so I want you to visualize it. You could also rotate it yourself with your hand, you know. No, it's special, you can do two hands. <laughs> so you can close your eyes for this too, to just visualize it. And it's a moment to meditate with your chakra. So again, we are going to take a nice deep inhale through the tummy. Visualize that beautiful emerald heart chakra turning clockwise. On the exhale, release anything that's possibly blocking it, whether it be emotional, whether it be structural, whether it be just something that just kind of, you know, happened to you today. Let it go. Now, in the next inhale, you're going to hold it. 10, 9, 8. Five, four, three, two, one. Release any negativity, any blockages, release it. And now on the third inhale, again, inhale. And then on the exhale, just release a little bit more. Let go whatever's left. And just imagine that beautiful heart chakra now circling clockwise even brighter and bigger. Take a moment with it, enjoy it. Your heart chakra does a lot for you. You know, so always take a moment with each chakra afterwards, after you're done breathing. Visualize them, see them in harmony, glowing, circling. At this time, just breathe normal rates. I'm not holding my breath. Yes. So take that time for yourself. And then when you're done, come back. Reground yourself. Use all that extra energy that you just gained. Put it all over. That's what they call energy massage. Mm. All the excess energy. Has and then start. put it back to your heart. Okay. Some of you might feel energized. Some might feel like wide awake, like you just drank some kind of energy drink. Or and others will feel really relaxed, ready to go to bed. Yes, whatever you focus your mind, the energy will flow. Yes. So join us next Monday and we'll see you in the Remember to stay healthy and breathe intentionally.